And let us open the floor now for our sharing. And we endeavor to hold the high vibration as we share our experience. Practice to let it shine through our words. So whoever would like to share can just unmute yourselves. Or raise your hand and Sasha can unmute you. Andrea, please unmute yourself. Um, mostly profound thankfulness and gratitude to be able to be included in this work. The meditation was absolutely beautiful. It took me deeper than I expected it to and it was extraordinary i uh, there there was a sense of the divine feminine in this for me it was when we when we were standing collectively sort of between each of our countries and each of our nations and we're sort of at that midpoint. I had this extraordinary vision of holding, holding the hand of the soul of the United States of America. And it was embraced by the goddess of liberty and the goddess of freedom. And then there was this wonderful image of multiple hands being outstretched to all of the nations with unconditional love with with something that goes so much higher that connects us all it was it just was this beautiful tapestry that was created of connections weaving of all the nations and held within that sort of maternal embrace and what I think we all kind of think of as that maternal love that just holds us all in an embrace that that is completely unconditional and truly loving warm compassionate thank you thank you thank you for letting us all do this work mm. thank you andrea for this very deep sharing mm. 
maternal. That's that's beautiful. Yes. Couple people shared their comments in the questions which we were posted in the chat section. Eva Smith said, uh, Mutai thought this meditation was excellent. Question for self exploration, the choice of words, and overall, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Risa says, such an extraordinary meditation. Uta, uniting all of us and our nations. Thank you. And then she adds, our country, the United States, in such need of healing, the truth to be recognized, known and accepted. Yeah. Resita, please unmute yourself. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Um, I, I'm in Britain and I saw the Grail Cup and coming into the cup was a silver light like um, the element of mercury and this silver light flowed down into the great cities in our nation here and brought this very fine essence and then um, i saw a rose um, representing the future, the potential of this rose. And then um, something very powerful happened with the um, mind and heart coming together. It was like light and love fusing and it felt like um, some kind of new force or new, completely new impulse which um, is on the ethers and it has not taken form yet and it's waiting and it will come. So thank you for a beautiful meditation. Yes, in this, um, when, when we hold together a sacred space like this, then we can really reach or completely unexpected um, uh, impressions from these higher worlds, this archetypal, yeah, this, this archetypal world. There was a hand uh, up, uh, Mark, if you still would like to share anything, please raise, raise your hand again. Um, I want to add to the sharing stats. Um, the place where we collectively sh shifted
is such a recognizable place where we as a world group and each of our smaller groups that's the place of our work and that's the place where we called to shift and thank you Uta for putting in words so eloquently through mm -hmm. uh, all our webinars we uh, always try to find the, the, that, that note that would shift us there but today it was so natural and so beautiful Mm. Um, Alexander, can you say more about this place? Place where we collectively shift? It's um, the way I see it is it's that place where there is no right or wrong. It's that place above the rational judgments. It's that place where the truth is seen as it is, not distorted as it is often happens on the mental level where illusion reigns. And that's why we we have access there and therefore we have responsibility to shift there, not arguing among ourselves what is truth in the, on the level of facts and rational, but being present there and receiving it as a planetary Ajna center, as we all are part of the world service group, planetary Ajna. And that's our place of service. That's who we are. And that's why we are um, called to be and to work from that uh, space. Yeah. And when we, when we align together, then we have access. Then we gain access. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Individually, it's, it's, it's quite a challenge. It's still open for us. But as a group, we have a direct passage there. Yeah. Yeah, it takes it takes effort and uh, dedication, and uh, we need to learn this skill. But there is this access then, and. We need it now. Yes. This is Mark in Sarasota. Can you hear me? Hello, Mark. Hi. Hi. Hello. Uh, I'm looking at the beautiful image on my computer screen. And that's the way I'm left feeling right now. I've been feeling this throughout the entire meditation from Efrat opening us to Uda's beautiful, wonderful, guiding us through, through the frequencies of, of the universe. Um, I'm so pleased to be given more permission to not run here and there, but to abide in stillness, it's okay. <laughs> it's so powerful that we really have manifested um, the feeling, the tone of the, the mountaintop images and the stars. We've, we've been there, which is what I believe this planet is starving for right now. Um, and when I look at my country, the United States, the chaos that we have been in and are in now, uh, it took a while to get to the soul level. But what I did see is the soul of America in its best form is, is a light of freedom. It is indeed that. And it also is the light of uh, the opening into enlightenment, which really means oneness oneness of all human beings and oneness of all life. So I pray that this resonance will continue through me, through my other groups, through everyone else on this call 
for all the nations. And the last is that um, in feeling the closing of the meditation, I really could feel the symphony of all the soul notes. And we, we, we complete with a symphony that I'm going to sit here and hold for, for quite a while after this uh, call. So thank you, everybody. God bless. I see here um, one of the chat messages from Josette. Um, I sense a line of sensibility and energy between the heart and the buddhic plane. Yes, we can awake the soul of our nation. Um, I think that it was in the last webinar that uh, Robert from Australia uh, highlighted um, the difference between the mental uh, link to the buddhic plane and the heart link. Um, and of course we need both. Um, and I believe that um, we esoteric students have, um, have done a lot of work of raising, rising above uh, the astral plane and being um, as mental as we can. And at the same time, for us to make this work with the soul of our nations real, we do need to bind in the heart and the emotional uh, aspect of ourselves, the feeling aspect. DK has given here and there um, uh, meditations where the, the, the feeling aspect is stressed. And I think it is for us, especially while being in such a stressful crisis in the world, it is very important and healing and strengthening to have this approach that uh, yeah, Andrea called maternal, uh, a feminine, a feminine approach to this work, a chalice approach, a womb approach. Um, Yes, and then, then this gives us a sense, yes, we can, we can do this work. It becomes more real, it needs to become real. And of course, it's all experimental and we are uh, never far away from glamour in this work. And uh, we need to dare to be humble, 
and to to come with our heart uh, with all that we have and we have each other to 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 watch <laughs> one one the other yeah it's very very special and um touching also for me to do this work together that we can come together like this huge gratitude for this Sabine, you are muted. Ah, hello everybody. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Hello. Sabine. Ah, yeah. Hello everybody and hello everywhere. Um, I would underline the gratitude of creating, to be able to create such a field because uh, it needs all our participation as I feel in all our concentration and really coming, wanting to do this together to to reach this level where Uta, you guided us so well and so careful and so, yeah, knowing, wise. Thank you. I would like to um, to to come a little bit back to some questions you put while this alignment mm -hmm. and there was a question how does the soul feel and um, so my answer is uh, the soul does never feel single and individual so it's always a we and you also mentioned the group soul. How is, how do we sense in our system the group soul? The group soul. And for me, this was like a, a wave, like a wave in the ocean. So the wave is totally aware and self-conscious to be a wave, which is many, many single drops, no more seen, but forming this motion um, but also totally aware of the ocean around and you also put the questions where can we feel this or sense it sense in our system and for me it was like sensing this really in all cells it was like feeling this in all cells and in all let's say smaller uh, in the atoms maybe and I also had a strong feeling of all chakras totally aligned so there was a big stream going through all chakras with this tuning in the direction to the buddhic plane what was very um, over shining the whole meditation was the sensing of the heart the cosmic heart and that the heart also our little heart is is the gate is the gate to get there so my impression was that the mind is a wonderful server to concentrate to focalize and maybe then also to communicate and and to share but the portal is the heart and it's in the heart where heart and mind are coming together and this cosmic heart bar was so full of of universal love there was such a high vibration of cosmic love and then there was something like only those who love can make miracles and the heart is the gate where the miracle can happen. So this feeling into the multiplicity can only be made by heart. Only heart can contain the multiplicity as a unity. 
I think, so I felt mind cannot do this, heart can do this. And um, I also became, so this awareness you meant, you mentioned also felt for me like a full reception, being so fully prepared to receive. Mm -hmm. And I had a strong moment for the, so I'm, I'm, I'm talking now from Italy, but I'm part of the German group, soul group. And I had a strong moment of connection with the German soul group, which was very unexpected for me. I never in this way had before. And it's a funny word I give you know, but this confusion. Hmm. And it was like a flash because confusion in a, in a, in a horizontal way, we, we combine with chaos, but confusion is also con, which is together and fusion is, is fusion, is also bringing together. together. <laughs> yes, which wow. becomes a unity. So it is a, for me, it's a wow word, which, which came in this moment. And then sticking to you, you were talking about the archetypes, yeah? And when, when this confusion impression came, I, I really thought there is not thought, this is not thinking what happens there, but they come this artists, masters, healers, hero funds. This is, this is all high beings bringing a kind of new thing, which is always in the first of confusion because is is breaking what is, what is firm, what is, what is rule, what is, clear what is manner what is convention up to this moment mm -hmm. so the german soul connected with this confusion is something i really have to meditate to contemplate about but i would like to share it here because i feel it extraordinary and wow. i mean maybe in the last years germans are not really expecting to be the confusion ones but there was some indications with, for me that can really hint in this direction. And I think this, this is somehow opening a new gate and also in a confusion, you need the heart to stay firm as a column. Your mind is getting confused, but it can help to focus where the heart is standing mm -hmm. firm. <laughs> so thank you very, very much for this huge field which is opening up with all your presence and all your your being and your your participating. So best greetings to all of you. Blessings. Oh, Sabine, yeah, looking forward to explore confusion <laughs> in this new way. <laughs> Very inspiring. <laughs> And I think, Sabina, your comment about the, the, the drops and the wave and the ocean is uh, somewhat a response to the uh, comment that Yoel uh, posted. I will read it. On the soul level, there are no national distinctions. When I'm operating on the soul level, I love everybody, despite their national origin and despite the three-dimensional egoic world that continuously generates artificial and real divisions. I just have to remind myself as often as I'm willing to of that fact. Mm -hmm. It's a drop, the wave and the ocean. Thank you. Yes. And in, uh, um, one of the comments here, bringing us back to a sacred connection with nature. Um, yes, we have this in our German Klangschale group. Uh, we sense this uh, very much now. Um, as we reach up to the soul of the nation, we reach down 
into nature, into the German forest. And it somehow, it connects together. It's help, it helps when the, when we are as humans in confusion, maybe we cannot find our heart so, so easily, so nature can help us in this. Making holy all the nations, says Risa. Beautiful. Okay. So if I think we are pretty much towards the end. Is there anyone who would like to add something before we close? Several raised hands. I didn't notice who was the first, so I will just go in the order. I will first on Doug. Doug, please unmute yourself. Mm, thank you. Thank you, Alexander. And thank you, Uta, for this extraordinary journey that we've been on together, that we are on together. And the only thing I wanted to share are the love, the comment about uh, love and the heart really touched me because the image I had as we connected with the souls of our own nations uh, also uh, took me to the cosmic magnet. And it was through, you know, we talk about a string of pearls in the Sutratma. Well, this was a string of hearts from the human heart through to the heart of the planet through to the heart of the country or countries but it just kept going and it just kept one heart after another all the way up a beautiful string to the cosmic magnet the heart of the universe so i just wanted to share that image thank you so much mm. thank you dot Hello, Jim Clark here. Can you hear me? Hello, Jim. Hello. I would just like to bring a little more focus into what Sabina was talking about with confusion and confusion. What's interesting about these two words that when you put them together, of course, is as we start in this path, confusion really is around us in all areas and we know about maya and glamour and illusion but with confusion which means with fusion of fusion then the confusion leaves of its own and the fusion becomes a dominant energetic and that's what i felt through this entire meditation it started, I felt, it seems to me that as we stand on our pinnacles, you know, there is, a, of course, a physical separation, and we're each focused on our own nations. And then as Uta began to build this sculpture, we came together, we fused together, and things unified 
they fused into this sculpture and it seems like the separation and the fragmentation that each one of us brings to this when we first plug in slowly faded away and we became a unified field in resonance with the planet and then i also felt i felt solar energy i felt the the, the unification of, of the second ray in the solar system and then the crowning portion of the meditation for me was sounding the ohms together it's like i could feel all of you with my voice creating a unanimity and a with fusion or a con fusion that was extremely powerful and i think resonates across the planet thank you beautiful thank you jim I would just like to sound the note of, of a wish that I have. And I'm looking at this magnificent image. It's one of the most beautiful I've ever seen of united humanity with divine source. My wish is that our group continue this on a daily basis on our own, of course, so that it's possible to continue this frequency beyond our our, our wonderful Zoom gathering today. It has really shifted my frequency at a cellular level. As my hands are raised, I know that the energy is moving into the my neighborhood. And um, something is magnificent like this, I don't want to let go of. So I just, I hope that people will, will consider, perhaps we can receive the image somehow uh, from the creators of the of this uh, Zoom call uh, to, to keep this frequency going, because if it does, the world's not gonna have any choice. It's gonna change. We're gonna lift it up. Mm -hmm. So let's keep going. Let's keep going rhythmically. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mark. There were more raised hands. I don't see now any more. Um, anyone like you have the final contributions, please raise your hands now if you lower them by mistake. And also, there are many comments uh, that come in now. We were posting them into chat. Uh, it's limitation of go to webinar platform. They, when they come, on the organizers can see them as questions. So we have to repost them. But also in the chat window, you can find the links uh, to uh, a book by Uta, Awaken the Will to Love, and. Uh, I'm going survey for the source of the nation's creative lab, which we use as a um, bulletin board for all the different national uh, groups and units that work invoking the source of their own nation. So uh, please let us know if you uh, join in this work. And also the link to the older uh, recordings from the previous uh, meetings of this creative lab. And the last but not least, the email, uh, Uta's email to get in touch with the groups who organize this work. Yes. 
especially if if there are any new groups or any one one person even who would like to start a, a, a national unit um, we will be very happy to assist in any way possible uh, so please call on us <laughs>